If someone comes to you asking you for something, and this is a very interesting point, they are called a sa'il. Sa'il means a person asking. In our language, we call it a beggar. A beggar. A beggar comes to you and they are putting their hand, please give me. I don't know how it happens here, but in my country at every traffic light, they beg. What does Allah say about that in Surah Al-Duha, which is a surah revealed in the early days of Islam? Do you know what Allah says? He speaks about a sa'il and we read the surah. Don't we know it off by heart? Allah Almighty says something amazing. Allah did not say give him. No, we can provide for him. If we put it in your heart to give, it was actually us who accepted your money to come in this cause. It was not you. We don't need this money. We always tell people about Salatul Tahajjud. And I repeat it again today. Salatul Tahajjud is one prayer that is by invite only. You're not invited, you won't do it. So don't think that Subhanallah, you know what I'm going to do. You're not going to. You are going to be invited if Allah loves you. So you will get up and you will fulfill it. Thank you. Thank Allah that Allah gave you the power and Allah invited you. The same applies to wealth. When there is a good cause, if Allah invites you to spend here, what does he do? He puts it in your heart to spend in that particular cause. Because in the Quran, Allah does not say, give the one who asks. Allah says, do not rebuke the one who asks. Don't belittle him, don't swear him, don't mock him, don't joke about him, don't rebuke him. You want to give or not to give, that's a separate issue. Because Allah says, we provide. You give, or you don't give, we are still going to provide for that man. Anything that moves on earth, Allah says it is upon us. We take it upon ourselves to provide for that particular thing that is moving, no matter how big or small it is on earth. Allah provides for creatures that you don't see with the naked eye. Forget about the ant. Allah provides for the whales and the blue whale. Allah provides for those whom we've never met. Allah provides for those whom we will never see. Allah provides for every animal, every bird, every fish, every insect, everything. Allah provides. And you, oh man, are worried about Allah providing for you or for another human being? 